G'day knuckleheads. Uncle Knackers here, and welcome to video eight of my 10 part series titled, My Top 10 DIY Tips as Nominated by You. And today I'm gonna to show you how to easily unclog a toilet without using a plunger. Let's check it out. Woo wee! Had a curry last night. Absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, it's come at a cost. Let's check this out. A totally blocked up toilet. <laughs> and just a quick disclaimer before I start this demo. Toilets can block up for a number of different reasons and there's a number of ways to tackle the problem. For your everyday common blockage, the method I'm about to show you is an absolute ripper and really takes some beating. But if you've got a more stubborn block, a blockage that may be deeper down inside the pipe work, you may require a plunger or a toilet auger or even the assistance of a plumber. With all that malarkey out of the way, let's get stuck into that blockage. Don't panic and don't call the plumber just yet. I want you to try this little trick first. Now, this is the secret sauce to unclogging a toilet. It's regular dishwashing detergent. Now remember, don't tell your mates. This is our little secret. So it's regular dishwashing detergent and some hot water and I'll show you what to do with it. The first thing I do when I'm blocking a toilet is I like to put down some towels first just around the toilet just in case it overflows. Could get a bit messy. The next step is to get our secret sauce, the dishwashing detergent, and give it a generous squirt inside the bowl. Now don't be shy and give it a good old squirt just like that. The next thing you do is you grab your hot water and slowly pour it into the bowl. Now what this does is that it helps the detergent penetrate the clog and it helps the detergent to lubricate the pipes which will make the clog slippery. Now relax and be a little patient. This will take about 20 minutes to take full effect. And hopefully that curry won't kick back in. Oh, back in 20. Okay, it's 20 minutes later, and you can see that the water level's gone down a little bit. So what we do now is we don't flush, but we pour another bucket of water into that bowl, and hopefully that will clear the block. If you do flush it, it might come up too high and go over the edge. So we get our bucket of water, and we pour it into the bowl, use a little bit of force, and that will hopefully clear the blockage. We'll just give that a minute or two and see how it goes. And there she goes. Great tip, Nactaz! And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a job to do. Whoop, wait up before you go. You'll notice that I've just put up a couple of links to a couple of other great DIY videos. Make sure you check those ones out. So there you go, video eight, done like a dinner. Video nine coming up in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that one. And please, as per usual, if you thought this video was useful, or well, you don't want to miss out on any other future videos, please subscribe to my channel. The button's down there. Thumbs up, the button's down there. Or even leave a comment in the comment box. That'd be great. So until next time, cheers. I'm out of here.